Sonic 4 Part 2 for Xbox 316. I think this is also available on the PlayStation 3 for 1,200 points or $15. $15, yeah. And at this point, I would like to punch Sonic Team in the face with a roll of pennies in my knuckles. Yeah, because this is like the most useless demo ever since, what was it, like, nine, two, three minute time limit on it? Yeah, it's, you, you, you make it, you don't even make it two-thirds of the way through the first level. It just, it pretty much made up of 2D Sonic with called the homing missile technique that was in the 3D one. Which doesn't work half the time. Exactly. And the game itself, it seemed to want to go between normal Sonic game of high speed to going like two frames a second and it like leaning more on the two frames per second more than high yeah. speed Sonic. And the one problem I found playing it is how quote the camera actually zoomed in. You can't even see half of the thing you're jumping to. Yeah, you, you, you don't see what's coming and it's when it breaks down, like you said, when it breaks down to the to the frames a second, to the, to the slower frames, it's just, it's not playable. Like it's just, it's, you are trying to go fast, the game is not letting you go fast, and there's really no graphical reason why this should not be. I mean, this the Sonic 4 Part 1 came out a year and a half ago. Oh, I thought You'd, it'd be longer than that. <sighs> It's, feel yeah, like but, it. but but even like a year and a half, like they used to pump out full fledged Sonic games, not 2D crappy remakes of you know old. Well, not that they haven't all been remakes of old Sonic games, but this is this is not like when you're trying to go fast, the game doesn't let you go fast. When it's trying to become a platformer, no one wants to play Sonic as a platformer. Yeah, especially that, that, when you only can see like one jump ahead of you at all times. Yeah, that is not, and especially like when you jump up and the screen scrolls up and you jump into an enemy. Like, the purpose of Sonic is to keep your rings. This game doesn't want you to do any of that. This is just, I mean, for the, for the amount that I played of it, I played the demo three times and never completed the first level. Yeah. Or even if it allows you to, I don't know. I but it's just, it's just, it, it is, it doesn't want you to do Sonic things. Like, when you press down and want to push on a B button to get your speed going, most of the time it doesn't work. So yeah. you end up slowly rolling down a hill, or you jump up and accidentally press the X button, and all of a sudden you're linked with Tails doing some stupid speedball thing. Yeah, I noticed that, like, two abilities I saw where you could jump up in the air and grab a hold of Tail and fly around for a few seconds. Why yeah. you want to do that, I don't know. And then the second one would be, uh, you pretty much jump in a little ball with him and you roll around. Maybe yeah, something, just, like, automatic at that point. Yeah, it just, it doesn't, it, this is, I don't see how they are charging $15 for this. I mean, I understand what they're doing. You know, if people keep buying these, they will keep making them. And, like, if they're going to have four parts to Sonic 4, it's going to end up being $60 for a, you know, quote-unquote full game. But as far as I can see, from what I've read, that even Sonic 4 Part 1 was kind of an enclosed game. Like, there, it, it was a game within itself. So I don't know why they're calling it Sonic 4 Part whatever. Yeah, it's just kind of sad that, you know, Generation might not have been super great, but at least we had fun 2D Sonic again. Yeah, and yeah, I, I, had, I had a lot, I didn't finish it, but I had a lot of fun playing Sonic, or Sonic Generations, because I liked that whole, like that whole 2D, 3D, with that world that you would open up and be able to go to different areas and, you know, unlock different music musical uh, themes and stuff like that. I enjoyed it, I just kind of burnt out on Sonic by about three quarters of the way through. Yeah. I was like, okay, I've had enough Sonic. And right now, looking at Sonic 4 Part 2, I do not want to play any more Sonic ever again. <laughs> if, they, if this is the kind of shit they're going to keep pumping out. Yeah, all I want is like another generation jump with load issue fix, and I'd be perfectly happy. But I got a feeling that it's going to be like once in a lifetime at Sonic 4, not you know showing anything. I doubt Sonic going to become decent again anytime soon. Yeah, I mean, besides Sonic Generations, the last good Sonic game I played was uh, Sonic Rush on the DS. Yeah, then with the 2D one, wasn't it? Yeah, and that was an actual Sonic game that let you move super fast. It didn't hinder you. I mean, and then it went to the platforming, and the platforming of Sonic has always been shit, so that didn't change. Cause, like, the only thing good I gotta say about Sonic 4 is the level look a little pretty, kinda. And I feel like maybe that wine we move so slow they were like we put all the time in making any levels look at it see and i thought everything looked like shit i just i mean the <laughs> things were things were shiny but sonic looked like a jagged blue thing and just everything seemed like they wanted to go for this really hard outlined mm -hmm. 
everything, but they just wanted to make everything shiny. So, like you said, maybe that's what maybe that's what we're going for. They wanted to make everything look pretty, but then you know, for some reason, the 360 can't handle processing. You know, because the 360 doesn't have blast processing. Maybe that's it. Yeah, there, there's no blast processing for Microsoft. They can't handle the they can't handle the hedgehog. And at 1,200 points, I do not want to handle the hedgehog. Yeah, I personally wouldn't pay like two bucks for this. You want you want some Sonic? Go buy Sonic Genesis Collection or Sonic uh, Generations. Yeah, because any generation you can unlock the I think the original two Sonic yeah. game from Sega and it. Yeah, and both those games you can get for way less than fifty. Well, that Sonic Generations you can probably get for fifteen twenty dollars. Yeah. But Sonic Genesis Collection you can probably get for like five or ten dollars. True, and I say. Get generation just so you know. Vote with your wall and tell Sega you want that type of Sonic. They won't yeah. listen, but you know. Yeah, not this downloadable crap you get every two years that wants to make you suck out air bubbles. 